SCB proudly presents the Chew on This Saltwater Fishing Show. But uh, look at all these rays right over to our side. What I do is I throw out my jig, and I let it sink, and I reel it back real slowly till I feel something touch it, or it touch something. And then whenever I do, I just give it a little jerk. There we go. <laughs> what a nice bite. You guys, did you, did you guys see that? that? That ray came up and ate that. <laughs> oh my word. I actually kind of like catching these. This is fun. <laughs> Come on, baby. Now the key is, is kind of working them in. You don't want to put a lot of pressure because you don't know where the hook is. And then when we get them up, we kind of leave them be. We just get a we just bust our barb off because we don't want to get any barbs since you guys know they're very, very dangerous. These guys aren't quite as bad as the ones that sit on the bottom. The ones that sit on the bottom like to go to the bottom, make it real tough to get them back up. There he is. Whoa, boy. Like that, boy, that's nice. Nice. I didn't feel it was appropriate to say chew on this to a ray that I was trying to snag. <laughs> Maybe I could have just tricked him. Look at that, there we go. That's a good size one right there. That's a one, a one gulper for a big shark. I like him, that's a great size. All right, we well guys come on down so I can land it. All right. Come here, baby. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the way you land it, you know? I always used to be kind of scared of these stingrays and everything. Captain Nelson actually showed me what I was supposed to do here. He says, there ain't no big deal. You don't have to worry about them horns or anything. Oh, yeah, I'll prove it to you. So, he goes, here's what you do. You bring them up to you. The only part I don't like about this is they have a tendency to splash you. You guys might be getting splashed, too. All right, you reach down. And if you look over here, you see those holes in the side of their head? You reach over and you grab them in the side of their holes just like that. It's kind of like a, a hand. And then you take them here and you just put him on the deck. Now, you see that horn? Oh, he's flapping on us. He's going to flap away. He's getting busy. Which all that, none of that bothers me. What does bother me is, is not the whippy tail. You look at that tail down there. You know, I always used to think that's what got me. They like whipped you or something. But that's not the issue either. The issue is, well, let's calm down a little bit here, buddy. The issue is, is this thing right here. Watch, it'll come up. It'll come up right now. Here we go, here we go. Can you grab that? Bust that off? See, that thing right there is what does all that damage. People's feet and everything. It's got a poison, it's a neurotoxin, I believe, and it goes right up. See, it's serrated too. And what happens is that poison goes right up into you and then it goes in through your bloodstream, so it kind of filters through your body, which makes it hurt really, really, really bad. All right, well, let me put this in the well. Like I said, we already got two in there. Look at that well, all blacked out, looking good with stingrays. And it's a cut finger waiting to happen. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. In the well she goes. 